Hi. I'm going to be playing the computer and listen to Christian Prince. All right. Here and listen to music, weird music. Of the temple of called this stuff here. I think I think I'll get I think I'll get a different one. I'll try this one here. Super intelligence. Memory. I think I'll play that instead while I listen to while I play while I listen to Christian Prince and play the computer All right. game of chess All those here. All right. Have to do with All right. Here's how easy it is to unbox a Tulo mattress. Wow, that was fast. They might look weird for you, but this is what it is. This is the origin of Allah. There's the origin of Allah. And this is uh, built by the Assyrian. You will be surprised, right? The Assyrian is the one who built. I mean, it's hard to believe that the Assyrian, their impact went all the way to Yemen, but they, they did. You know? The religion of the Sabian is spread all over. Like, let us say, in certain times, the Sabian belief was like a Christianity today. So it was a major religion. But let me see if I can go here to the images. This is the temple of Al Makkah. See the temple of Al Makkah. But simply, this is what is left of it. All right. And I believe strongly that the temple is destroyed by the Muslims because of their ignorance, as usual. You know, you know what ISIS did, did right? And they always do that. There's nothing new. So the temple of the moon god is located in Yemen and it's called Makkah. Now, if you go and study languages, you will notice, I don't know if you remember the Muslim, they say that there is many dialect in Arabic, right? However, the people who, be, who, who build the Makkah, they don't speak Arabic. And the people of Yemen, the origin one, they don't speak Arabic. They are not Arab. And Makkah is not an Arabic word. Uh, however, in the Aramaic language, sometimes the same letter can flip. You know? As an example, sometimes the letter B can come as M. Somebody is calling. Hello? Hello. How are you? Uh, we are live on air. How are you doing? I know. I know. I'm, yeah. I'm good. I just want to tell you something. All right. My friend uh, you once talked to yeah. became Christian and left Islam. Wonderful. Hallelujah. Yeah, Hallelujah. I, I, mean, to... I mean to that. And what 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 happened to her family, the the, the mullahs of Hezbollah? Yeah, um, they don't know till now, no. but uh, she will try. Because as uh, uh, as I know that uh, her uh, her brother he is a big uh, big deal uh, guy in Hezbollah, right? <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. He is. So like I think this guy he wanna kill me now. <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> I'm sure if he can do it, he would do it. He would love to do it. Anyway. No, no. I'm sorry, Sunny. I'm talking to you. Yeah. Okay. And what you say to Yeah, I mean, I mean, he will add you on the list. You're on the hit list too. <laughs> it's okay. All right. Well, I'm so glad to hear this news. You know, because I did not hear from you about her anymore. So uh, that's wonderful. I'm so happy. For because she was waiting for happy. yeah she was waiting for me to debate her uh, her scholar right that's what uh, supposedly yes. mm -hmm. but too bad we did not have the, the debate happen because I want the debate to happen you know not only for her so everybody can see how how uh, how you know how funny stupid this religion is yes maybe one day you don't know <laughs> yeah well I don't know this day doesn't look like it's coming I keep waiting for them and never gonna like I was. When I heard the ring, I said, okay, wow, that's a Muslim calling. <laughs> you know what? It was you. <laughs> uh, well, only... Okay, I'm sorry, I'm not a Muslim. Oh, no, right. I'm glad. Yeah, yeah. That I'm... How's, how's, uh, how's your husband doing? He is okay. Yeah, that's good. 
but you know, uh, I hope uh, you will bring me more people to talk to, and I will be happy to spend my time with them and let us see what they want to do. I will try. Yeah. Do, okay. Do you have anything else you want to say to us, Ashia? No. Thank All right. you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. God bless you. Bye. Bye. I've clearly beat the computer. It is uh, now committing suicide. She is uh, she's a Muslim, and she's Shia. And her family, they are like big mullahs in, in Lebanon. And they are leaders of Hezbollah. So uh, supposedly, after I spoke to her, uh, she said uh, to the lady, she spoke to me right now, they told, she told her, like, she there's a... There's a a big shake in Lebanon, maybe the biggest like for Hezbollah, he wanted to debate me. And he promised that if he if I won the debate, she will leave Islam. You know? If this guy he could not debate, I mean he could not answer, he could not come with any uh, you know, so she will leave Islam. But look like the debate it was not needed. And this lady she became a Christian already. So I'm so happy for her and may the Lord bless her. And uh, good news for her. I mean like you know I feel sorry for the Muslims, you see, this is why I say, I might sometimes be angry from the Muslims, I might be uh, uh, because of the violence and the, you know, like killing, etc. This is disgusting. But at the end of the day, Muslims are victims. You see, all those Muslims who want to burn flags, who want to burn cars, who want to do jihad, all of them, they think that they are doing good for God. You remember where Jesus, he said, time will come and people, they will think by killing you, they are doing a favor to God. This is exactly what the Muslims do. They think by killing you, they are doing a favor to God. But the fact, what they are doing has nothing to do with God in any way, in any way. And their God is a funny one, stupid one. And even they do not know who is he. So we were saying, we would go back to our topic and thanks for our sister for informing us about the update. We said to you that sometime the letter M, as you see in the screen, can change and can become Ba. Let me give you an example. All of this has nothing to do with the Arabic. This is not because of the Arabic. This is because of the Arabic. If you read with me here, it says, for those who know Arabic, Inna awwala baytin wudi'a linnas alladhi bi bakka. Let us go and read the passage. I won. I'll play it again. I can't black this time. The first house which was built to you is the one who is in Bakka. But where is Bakka? You can change the translation, by the way, if you don't like Yusufali. But I'm trying to see which one he used in the Arabic letters, you know, in order to show us. Read with me here. Do you see the difference? What is the difference between the one we saw in the previous verse and this verse? The letter Ba, correct? Mecca became Bakka. None of the Muslims have an idea why this happened. I mean, is it Bakka or Mecca? <laughs> the fact, none of them have to do with the city which the Muslims they speak about. The first house of worship appointed for man was at Bakka. That is the temple we are talking about. The temple of Al Makkah, which can come as Bakka. All right? You can go and read, I and mean, there's many articles about it. All right? And uh, there's many writers and many authors speaking about that. It's not, uh, it's not a secret. But you see, the problem is. Uh, ah, I hate that 20 minute. <laughs> it's yeah. 20 seconds. It just seems yeah, like 20 minutes. 
where it shows nothing. It's uh, supposed to be refreshing, but it's a, front of us, like it's a real pain, a real pain. Here, award here, and we, we, we stay with it. Okay, the first house of worship appointed for man, it was the one in Becca. But where is Becca? Nobody want to ask himself. And why is it Becca is the same as Mecca? Why here it is Mecca, there is Becca? Why the Quran itself is giving us two names? Simply because Muhammad is not the author of the Quran. Most of the Quran is not his make. The book he's copying from is saying Becca once, saying Mecca once. However, both of them they speak about the temple of the moon god. The Muslims, they come with something that this temple was built by Abraham. However, if you go to the pictures of, of the Kaaba, there is something it's called al rukn al yaman Ruknu al Yamani. Look with me. This is the corner, the other corner of the black stone, which means the black stone in the right corner, in the other corner, in the Kaaba. And this is the other corner, it's in the front of your eyes. This corner is called the corner of Yemen. The corner of Yemen. So far, we're tied. So why it's called the corner of Yemen? Is the picture clear, guys, for you? Let me take the banner down so you can see it better. Is it clear? Okay. What is this Yemeni corner? Muhammad, he said, whoever touched the black stone and the Yemeni corner, and he hugged them and he kissed them, all his sin is forgiven. If you look with me carefully, you will notice that this corner is not made from one kind of stones, it's a collection of stones. Do you notice that? Do you notice it's not like the same kind of stones, like they are different colors, right? It's not, it's not one stone from the same time. What is the reason for that? You know, you know that uh, some some Christian uh, churches, when they build a church, they bring a bones of uh, let us say someone he was a very great Christian, we call him saint, and in the top of his bones they build a church, they make a grave for him, so it's like a blessing for us to have a great example like him. However, this is a tradition. Muhammad, he is ordering the followers followers saying that if you hold the black stone and this corner all your sin is forgiven i will show you the hadith the black stone the muslim they say that allah he sent it down from heaven as a mark spot for abraham which is very funny because as i know the first one who built the black the, the kaaba it was the angels and look like the muslims are so confused about their stories is it the angels? Is it Abraham? Is it Adam? Is it who? Because I can show you the reference right now as we speak that the first one who came down to do Hajj, it was the angels, and they do it 40 times before Adam. And Adam was sent down to, 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 to India. So long before Abraham is exist, there's a Kaaba supposedly. I mean, the Muslims are very confusing people, you know, like they, they have a collection of stories, like a Mickey Mouse story, cartoon, every cartoon, Every 30 minutes of the cartoon is different person and different character and uh, today the uncle of uh, Tom is coming. Tomorrow the sister of Jerry. But there's no story. So, if the black stone is a holy stone and Allah he sent it as a mark down for Adam. What is the Yemeni corner? Any Muslim can tell us? And look at those pagan people, guys. Look, look how they are bowing down and kissing the stones. Okay. 
And look at this hole. I mean, this hole is very weird, isn't it? So they dress the Kaaba and they open holes in the holy locations so people, they can kiss it. Any Muslim can tell us what is the, what, what is it, what is unique about this corner? Why if we touch this corner, my sin is forgiven. By the way, I've gone too far. I'm, I know I'm going to win this thing, but 